Hello viewers and welcome to another series of Games Master. You know, life on this desert island would be horrendous if I hadn't come upon my two girl Fridays, which was a good thing. Uh, they invited me to feast upon their coconuts and now we eke out a simple, animalistic yet happy living as we prepare for the final ten chapters of this great book called Games Master, because this is the last ever series. Yes, the last ever series series. We don't care how much Channel 4 beg us to come back. You can shout, you can scream, you can stamp your feet, you can weep great bales of tears, but in 10 weeks time we are taking this show off the air for good. So girls, what's on today's show? Joe Guest goes through a town destroying huge civic erections in Rampage. But we begin with today's event, which we like to call the Two Big Tombs of Lara Croft. Greetings once again, loyal viewers, and may the light of Gamesmaster shine upon your lives. It's good to be back, and you can be sure that I've prepared a series of challenges for our intrepid contestants that over the coming weeks will test their games playing ability to the limits. We begin today with the most highly awaited game of the year, Tomb Raider 2 on the PC and PlayStation. Two players must take control of the delectable Lara Croft in the race to finish a special custom level of the game which I prepared. I have issued both of my contestants with boozy machine guns, along with an unlimited supply of ammunition, as in Tomb Raider 1, exploration will be the key to success, no stone must be left unmoved, no avenue ignored if they wish to avoid a fruitless quest. Haha, <laughs> good luck. Like an overexcited teenager, this challenge has already started. So I'm going to ask our two contestants, Jake Peters and Paul Wilson, to pause a while. Because to you at home, they're men of mystery, and you deserve to know more. Jake Peters, first of all, welcome to the show, Jake. Thank you, Dylan. Now, uh, you've got a girlfriend over in Japan. I have. That must, is that quite difficult? It is. It is. I'm looking forward to Christmas when she's coming home. Yeah. I mean, does she send you photographs? She sends me emails every morning. Uh-huh. Not photographs? Not from her. Not from her? From other women? <laughs> okay, Jake, uh, let's move on to you, Paul. A different story. Now, you're a, a bit of a pant-related disaster on your way here today. Yeah, I washed my pants in with the red, and they come out pink. What, were they white originally? They were very white. Okay, so you now have pink pants? I'm the pink pants man, yes. Okay. Not really much I can add to that. Uh, okay, listen, uh, best of luck, guys. I'd like you to ask you now to put your headphones back on. This is so that they don't hear what's going on in the commentary box, uh, which is probably a good thing to because I'm now joined by Rick Henderson. Rick, welcome back to the show. It's fantastic to have you. Oh, it's fantastic to be here and for you to have me. Thank you. Now, Rick, uh, there's been a couple of cosmetic changes to Lara Croft for the sequel, isn't there? Yeah, there certainly is. Lara Croft this time has got this flowing ponytail, even when she stood still. I think she's got a head infested full of lice or right. something. I think I, Rick, I read that in the back of the box myself. Now, uh, Rick, the guys have been playing already for 20 minutes, so how have they been getting on? Right, we'll be looking at a replay now. Now, this is the point where Jake actually entered the level. He has to get to the end, but first he actually managed to kill the eagle with absolutely no hassle whatsoever. The eagle is a new feature in Tomb Raider 2, and we're running this on a 3DFX card on a PC. That, that's why it looks so good, and so does she. Now, he's got to negotiate these boulders. Unfortunately, he tried to shoot them in the, the first attempt, and then he just ran into them in the second attempt, and the last attempt he ran into a wall and got killed. He didn't manage to dodge them, but eventually got past the boulders, and he had to jump through a giant plate of glass but unfortunately failed to catch onto the wall and crumpled into a disgusting heap. Now we're looking at Paul's attempt. Now Paul again managed to kill the eagle. It took him a little bit more effort than it took Jake, but he managed to kill that eagle and he was off and running. Now he looked at the boulders. Now of course he didn't know what uh, Jake had done, but managed to jump over the boulders nonetheless. Um, he jumped through the plate of glass and actually caught onto the wall, which is what he had to do, and he had to go to the right to get through this giant doorway after the chasm. Okay, before we join the action uh, live, uh, Rick, where about are the guys on the level map? Well, as you can see on the map, they've actually both successfully negotiated the chasm at the far left of the map. They'll have to get through the water. They've only just started to enter the water as we join them. Okay, then, uh, let's join the action live now. And let's begin with 
Paul of Pink Pants Wilson. He's swimming through the water. He's just having a little look around. Some might say aimlessly, Rick. He, he looks aimlessly because he's actually looking to try and get out of this water to try and find a wall to climb okay, up. Okay, let's look at Jake there now. Yes, Jake has found this wall. He is going to climb up it. This is another new function for Lara in the sequel. Yeah, it certainly is. Tomb Raider 2 didn't, uh, Tomb Raider the first one didn't have this kind of function where you could climb and so gracefully. Okay, then he's safely up the wall. Let's check on Paul Wilson again. And he's, if anything, more aimless. Let's go back to Jake now. And he's found some bad lads, Rick. Yeah, he's found some bad lads who are guarding a skidoo. What he really wants to do in about the time we've got for this slice of the event is actually get on that skidoo. But he's got to shoot these bad guys before he can do it. Okay, now that skidoo was at the top of that bit. He was climbing earlier on. He's dispatched the bad guys. Go on, Lara, hop on that big, red, powerful, shiny thing. And so with Jake tearing off into the lead, we'll leave the two guys in their exploration of Lara's huge tomb while we go to today's news. Right, so we've got Jake Peters and Paul Wilson trying to get through a level of Tomb Raider to the quickest. If we look at the map, we can see that Jake is still ahead, but Paul's done a little bit of catching up. Let's join the action now. Let's start off with Paul's progress. OK, Paul Wilson has it. He's out the water. He's found the skidoo. He wants to know where to go next, Rick. Yeah, if you're looking upon, you'll see a giant block. He's going to have to negotiate around that block by moving it out of the way, so he's got to get off the skidoo. OK, let's look at Jake now. Jake is up there. He's moving the blocks out the way. Yeah, he's already managed to kill two leopards that were guarding those blocks. OK, we saw a little bit at the bottom there. Back to Paul now. He's just going to try and make this massive, huge leap over into the block bit. Yeah, so he's he successfully moved them. OK, yeah, they're, they're, they're now. Meanwhile, uh, Jake is on the skidoo. He's driving like Billy O'Rig. Yeah, he's driving like Billy O'Rig. dead yeah, again. Right which are alive if we go back to Paul. Here. He's a bit hammered there. He's having to move all around there. They're a bit tough, these leopards, Rick. Yeah, they're certainly one of the hardest creatures he could encounter at this level. OK, back to uh, Jake now, and he's, uh, he's quite literally running through men. <laughs> he obviously doesn't like them very much, That is horrible. <laughs> and it's an enormous, big, huge leap over a chasm. I reckon he's about a minute or so ahead of Paul. We've got to leave them there because I can feel a stirring deep within my clams. That can only mean it's time for today's Celebrity Challenge. Right, we're going to move from uh, swapping spotty lines with the lovely Joanne Guest to uh, talking about how the Tomb Raider 2 challenge is going with Rick Henderson. Life is full of such contrasts. How's it going, Rick? Well, it's getting pretty exciting over here at the moment, Dominic. They're now neck and neck, but as we join the map, you can see they actually had a few problems earlier. They got to a drawbridge where they needed a key to get past. This, of course, is where Jake actually managed to find the area that the drawbridge was in. As he turns round, we'll see the drawbridge that he had to unlock. He get, had to get off the skidoo and walk over to the lock. He suddenly realised, oh, hell, I haven't got a key. Of course, Paul also got to exactly the same stage, so he managed to actually suss out that he needed to get a key that was earlier on in the level. So they've both gone back into that level to search for that key. OK, thanks, Rick. Now, if we join the action live, let's go to Jake. He's still running around on his skidoo, looking for that key. Rick, he doesn't seem to be uh, having much luck. Let's go over now, then, to Paul Wilson. Please, thank you very much. And um, now, he looks like he might have found something promising here, Rick. Yeah, he's decided to get off the skidoo. If you remember in Tomb Raider, Lara sometimes looks for clues. She'll actually look to where a clue might be. Maybe it's down this pit? Yes, I it, think she has. It's a gaping one. OK, then, that looks fine. Let's go back to Jake. He still has it. Oh, this looks like he's kind. No, he's not. I thought he was near it for a minute, but he's still just wandering around on his skidoo. Um, I think he needs to go off it, but let's go back to uh, Paul, who's doing much, much better. Uh, he's climbing down this pit now, looking for the key, Rick. Yeah, if he jumps there, oh, he's just seen something that might be over this ridge. Now, if he actually runs through there, it, it does look shiny and metallic, and it's OK! Oh, he's Fantastic. got it, he's picked it up then. So Paul's made up for his bad start. He's now in the lead, just to let the tension build even larger in our trousers. Let's go to today's reviews. <laughs> Okay, we're very near the end of the show. Since the beginning, uh, we've had Jake Peters of Paul Wilson racing through a level of two minutes two to see if he can compete at the first. Uh, Paul Wilson is in the lead just now. If we look at the map, we can see he's at the drawbridge and uh, Jake is some way behind. Let's join the action now live. Let's go to Paul Wilson first. He's back by the drawbridge. He's got the key now. I think he's going to raise it now, Rick. Yeah, all he wants to do is put the key into the lock and the drawbridge will raise automatically. Here we go. There hey, we go. Hey, and look at that top drawbridge raising action. Okay, let's go find out how Jake is doing. 
Oh, he's getting there where the key is, Rick. Yeah, he's only just getting to the key, though. He's also got to then run it all the way back towards the drawbridge. As we know, Paul's already gone there. It's not looking good. Let's go back to Paul then. That Paul's again at two enemies. It's Skadoos, Rick. Yeah, as in Tomb Raider 1, Lara can jump and shoot at the same time, and that's probably the technique he needs to use. OK, and that's the two bad guys dealt with, though. He's so got to... Dude, is this a pushing situation Yeah, here, it's Rick? a pushing situation. That was in Tomb Raider 1 as well. We saw pulling earlier. That wasn't in there, but pushing is. Um, he's now going through to the very, very last section. This is the last major section that he has to negotiate, and he will have won. OK, he's never in there, but no, there's two more bad blocks. He's got to deal with Everick. Well, he's doing it very, very adequately now, though. I think he's uh, been playing all day, so I think he, he shouldn't have any trouble with that. OK, that's the bag as dealt with now. End of the water. He's very then. Let's check on the Jake, though. Is Jake close enough to catch up? He's on it. Drawbridge, he's only Rick. just at the drawbridge. He's only just about to put the key in. Oh, he is miles behind. Let's forget, Jake. Let's go back to Paul. Come on, on board with Jake. Here comes Paul. He's coming out the water now. He's just going to go around this bed. And that's it. Paul Wilson is the winner. Okay, guys. Uh, first of all, Jake. What went, what went wrong for you then, Jim? That? Well, I sort of lost it looking for the key. It was just too much time on the skidoo. But I suppose you can control yourself with the fact you have a lovely girlfriend in Japan. Yep, and at least she wasn't here to see it. Yeah. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, no, sorry. She just emailed us to say you're chucked. Sorry, Jake. Uh, Paul, fantastic display there. Totally in the bag. Was it down to a certain lucky pair of underwear? I think those pink pants. Yeah, that, that was it. What, uh, definitely. What do you, you think of the game itself? Do you think it's better than, than Tomb Raider 1? Very good graphics, very good gameplay, classic. Very, very good, definitely. And, uh, and Lara Croft, what do you think of her? Do you think she's an attractive girl? Very attractive. Yeah, you know she's not real? I know she's not real, but oh, I've yeah. seen the man, you know, not the... The man? Not the man. Yeah, we should probably leave it there. I went to a... Uh, yeah. Yes, that's all right, mate, don't worry. Uh, uh, digging deep hole, deep yeah. hole there, mate, don't worry. Right, because you've done enough. You've done enough to win. The Gordon Games Master Joystick, which goes to Paul Wilson! Yeah.